Earnings season isn't over, even though Fang has reported. We get over a thousand companies reporting again this week, including a lot of top names. I look through the charts to pick out the best five charts for this week that everybody's going to keep watching. Now, they might not be the ones you're thinking of, but some are. So let's jump in and see what these are. First one is one of the big names that everybody's going to be keeping an eye on, and that's Priceline. Um, it's kind of leading off the week here, and it's got the perfect track record still. No misses going back five years. That's pretty impressive. But shares have stalled out a little bit again after hitting those new highs earlier in 2017. We'll see what's happening with the travel industry with so much going on with the earthquakes and other um, natural disasters in the weather area. Uh, this is one that definitely everybody's going to keep watching. Then we're going to get Snap. Now, this is just basically a favorite of everybody on the street, even though it missed last quarter and only has the two earnings reports since its IPO. But we all know kind of what Snap's problems are. Everyone's going to be listening in on this conference call. And then you're going to get one of the uh, kind of peerish companies, even though this is on the ePay side, Square. It's one of the hottest stocks in the street now. Just those two misses right when it went IPO. And then it's been beats every quarter. And we'll see if it's priced for perfection here or if it's got more room to run. And then NVIDIA, the other beast on the street that's going this week. Only that one miss back in 2015 tars its record. And as you can see, I said maybe it was priced for perfection last quarter, but we got the huge, massive beat in there. That's that long green arrow there. And now shares are still surging to the upside. It's not cheap. It trades at about 57 times forward earnings. So we'll see if, once again, it's not priced for perfection or if we're going to get it to go higher still. And then our one company that rounds out this group is the one that everyone's going to be watching, but for the opposite reason, and that's Macy's. It's at the five-year lows here. Even though it's beat two of the last four quarters and beat last quarter, everybody just thinks these department stores are doomed, basically. So I know a lot of people will be watching this as a bellwether about the retail group going into this holiday season. So this is definitely one you're going to want to keep watching. Plenty of others, as I said, reporting this week. And we're going to have the options trades on a lot of these through Zach's Live Trader over on YouTube. Check out Dave over there. It's free now, so you can check out everything he's talking about with the options trades on all these hot stocks that are going this week, because he'll cover that, and I'll cover the earnings charts. So be sure to tune in all this week, because we're going to have plenty of earnings coverage.